Can push that battery down a little bit, see what that does. Information comes. Alright, don't push it too hard. Right there with you. Yeah. Right there in the midst of the fuck, you know, trying to yeah, Satan, ranch in your shit. Satan fucking up our camera. That's all good. That's all right though, because these scriptures don't come out anyway. So what y'all gonna do when everybody starts dropping death from me, Bola? We're gonna laugh, you know that? The Lord is gonna laugh. That's a punishment from the most high for y'all being wicked and evil and breaking the Lord's commandments. Mm. The Ebola virus, that's a punishment for a wicked man and for a wicked woman. A third part of thee shall die with the pestilence and with famine shall they be consumed in the midst of thee. And a third part shall fall by the sword round about thee. Oh and yeah, what do you think Ebola break out? It's gonna be chaos, it's gonna be martial law. Shit gonna be locked down, people gonna be going nuts, killing each other. What's that new law Obama just passed on? Got respiratory uh, health and sickness. Oh, I forget what it's called. Yeah, he just passed. He just signed that shit. Plus that shit you told me about, they got a bowl of patients and victims over there in Africa just dying and coming back to life, biting people. Oh, shit. Like man. zombies. Whoa. I looked it up. That shit's true. And it's real, ain't it? Yeah, it's real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They said they come back to life, and the, and the look in their eyes, it's like there's nothing there. And they're totally out of their mind, and they just try to bite people. <laughs> to bite your ass. No, they actually, an Ebola patient, Came back to life and bit a health worker in Africa and infected the health worker. That's right. That's right. Because they said back in the back, back when the Black Plague happened in Europe, they said the same thing happened back then. People would die, come back to life, and infect other people. That's right. That's right. So what do you so so this hmm. virus was probably made in a laboratory. This is bad, man. This is bad, man. We talking about the, we dealing with we dealing with the Most High here. Yeah, you know? the Most High put it. You, you don't think of the carnal mind, you don't thinking that's everything. What, what's going on? You don't you don't see zombies. You don't see ghosts. You don't see apparitions. You don't see none of that shit. So it ain't real. It don't exist. So all these motherfuckers, they gonna get a, they gonna get a big surprise. Man. Well, why do you think the military has been having uh, zombie training drills? Yeah, yeah, been fighting yeah. zombies in their uh, yeah. in their training practices. Then I tell y'all at the zoo every year for a weekend they have zombie uh, zombie uh, zombie drills. Yeah. Real zombie attack. That's the zoo. And, and it's funny too. Like the Ebola virus hits America. Back when Walking Dead is just now coming back on. Well, Walking Dead's coming back, what, next week or something? So the, the, but the people that made that movie, they probably in on something. They got information that you don't. It's beautiful. Y'all gonna die from Ebola. No, fucking yeah, yeah. Yeah, it really is. Right, right. Yeah, it's funny. I actually think it's funny, He man. said, hell yeah, I am. Do you believe in the Bible? A little bit. A little bit? Your history. What am I? Say your history, your toast. I'm toast? Yeah, you go, you go, you go. Because you're a goddamn devil. Yeah, because you're a goddamn devil. I'm a devil? A piece of shit. I'm a piece of shit. Yeah, you're a, a piece of diarrhea. <laughs> a puddle of diarrhea. <laughs> am, I, am I weak or white? You're, li you're like an under spit. Weak or white toast? <laughs> go ahead. Oh, what you got? I'll oh, go ahead. Fuck when people slowing that. Oh. See, the Bible says you supposed to you supposed to come out here and you supposed to uh, what's the word? You supposed to uh, ag agitate people, uh, stir up controversy. I'll oh, go ahead. Oh. That's not the word I'm looking for. Though. Go ahead. I know what you're talking about. Too. And a third part shall fall by the sword around about thee, and I will scatter a third part into the winds, and I will draw out a sword after them. Thus shall my anger be accomplished. Yeah, so the Lord's anger is going to be accomplished, all right? Hey, they could use that Ebola virus to bring in the microchip, too. You don't know what's going to happen. Oh, you see, uh, uh, the uh, Attorney General uh, resigned, and they brought in that mean bitch. That's oh, what I've been waiting for, man. Who did they bring? I didn't see. You, uh, uh, that black dude. Uh, Eric Holder. He's out. Yeah, I know he's they out. They brought in that dyke looking bitch. Oh, yeah? That ugly ass dyke bitch. Yeah, I didn't check she on that. She mean, too. She oh, mean. Bet. It's what they need, man. Hey, you got to bring it. It's going to take a special person to help bring in that, uh, that chip, man. And she's the right person. I've been looking for this to happen the last year and a half, man. And they've been perfecting that technology, too, on that microchip. Perfected. This is beautiful, man. Cause Everything is falling in place. And everybody already got smartphones. Half the people are paying for their uh, paying for their items at the store with a smartphone. 
So soon they go, they gonna hook your chip up to your ass. You seen a, uh, you seen how a lot of people they hook it, they got microchips already, and they sync their microchip in their hand up with their iPhone. And it, that's considered trendy to be trendy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got it. They bragging about having microchips. Soon everybody's gonna get the chip. Thus shall my anger be accomplished, and I will cause my fury to rest upon them. Yeah, so the, the Lord's fury is going to rest on your head. And I will be comforted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Say, so, yeah, who's going to be comforted by the Lord's fury? Okay, hey, what's that scripture that said? Isn't that Thessalonians? And it says, uh, the Lord, uh, those, those that, uh, that trouble you, uh, oh, let me see if I can put that in here. This is that second Thessalonians. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Sounds good. You said, I'm a, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Those that trouble you, they're going to get recompense, a recompense for them to trouble you. Recompense, tribulation, something, something like that, yeah. I know it's in the Thessalonians. I'm getting it mixed up. Did it say it's a righteous name? Yeah, it's a righteous name. Read the fish tribulation. Oh, yeah, read that. You got it? Oh, you ain't got it yet? I got it. I got it. For, uh, Second Thessalonians Second. one. I, I got it. Second Thessalonians one and uh, six. Seeing it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. <laughs> you get it? So people say we're wrong because we wishing that the Most High jack up our enemies. Well, as the Most High said, that's what's going to happen. Let me read the rest. It says, and to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. Oh, listen to this. And flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not God, that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shai. That know not the Most High. And it does say in the scriptures that the Gentiles don't know the Most High. Yeah, the Gentiles don't you know, know the Lord. You know? You tell them the Israelites, they reject the Israelites, so they remain Gentiles. Yep, like Esau, they ain't never gonna know the Lord. You ain't, you can't teach the Hamite a scripture. You better out trying to teach the Bible to a dog or a donkey mm -hmm. than teaching a Hamite. You know what I'm saying? Or an Edomite. I think my like Cass Samson understands more than fucking motherfuckers. Yeah, teaching Esau the Bible is like teaching a king cobra. He's gonna bite you. Yeah, that's like trying to trying to charm a snake. There's a scripture on that. Uh, there's a scripture that says about charming snakes. They're going to bite your ass sooner or later. Probably in a proverb somewhere. Okay. Uh, this is Psalms 28 and 3. 24. Oh, draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, which speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts. Give them according to their deeds and yep. according to to their wickedness of their endeavors. This, Give, yeah, this is a wicked and adulterous generation. Give them after the work of their hands, render them their desert. <laughs> you know, reward. That's get her out here, get her out here. She said, hell Satan through a box of bread. That's right, that's right. Hey, they coming out the cut. Satan is coming out the cut too, right along with this, uh, the uh, all these extremist groups, all these goddamn fools. They just had a satanic mass over there in, uh, what was that, Kansas? Shit, they built a, a massive church in Detroit. For Satan? For, with the statue in front and everything. But I no. Detroit was broke. Oh, they got enough money to pray Satan. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way they can get rewards and get paid anything. This is the kingdom of Satan. That's right. Um, because they regard not the works of the Lord, nor the operation of his hands. He shall destroy them and not build them up. Right, all this shit is going to be destroyed. 
Columbus, Ohio is going to be destroyed by fire. America is going to be destroyed by fire. It's an ungodly nation. So uh, death by fire, that's a punishment for an ungodly people. You know what I'm saying? That's a punishment. Death by fire, destruction. That wind, if the initial blast don't take them out, that wind that follows afterwards. It's going to get them. It's going to burn them. That's actually where the heat going to come from, that just, wind. Just like, uh, what's that? And Peter said they're going to melt. They're going to melt. The, the, the hell of, I'll get it. <laughs> they're going to melt. Hey, you get melt. this. What's that, Peter? What's that? Second Peter 26 or something like that? Hello. What's happening? You got a haircut. I like it. Hey, is that your girlfriend? Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm just messing with you, man. Oh, shit. She'll make you some cookies. She'll eat them all. She's not going to eat them because she's stressed out. That's what she got a good job. Yeah. She's not going to eat them because she's stressed out. She's going to eat them because she's stressed out. She's going to make sweet love too, just like she was fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We gonna act like it's sweet though. Yeah, we got our charm and bitches too. Like yeah, mental, we play mental games with you know. Yeah, we don't judge according to appearance. We take an ugly bitch. You know what I mean? <laughs> no matter what color they are. Uh, Second Peter three. Seven. That's a nice chapter. Period. You start at one. Yeah, start at one. Start at one. Just make love. Make love. Yeah. The whole chapter. Man. That's a bad chapter. That's a bad. It ain't, ain't nothing but me. Uh, second Peter 3 verse 1 the second apostle thing behold I'm not writing to you in both which I stir up your pure mind by a way of memory that's what we are here doing remember reminding Israelites of the past you know what does that mean though remembers that proves reincarnation that we was here once before and at one time we knew these laws back in our past lives so now we're here to wake you back up and to bring you to remember yeah. Yeah. keep going that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets of, of the commitment of, this, the, uh, of the apostles of, of the Lord and Savior. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust and saying, Ooh, where? King Satan. Oh yeah, that, uh, yeah, we just had a drive-by scoffer. He came out here and uh, hailed Satan. <laughs> she said, hail Satan. <laughs> But we got all kinds of scoffers out here. Every week we come out here, somebody comes up, running their mouth, talking shit. I and mean, that's just part of doing the work. You gonna have that. And our job is to rebuke them and to curse them out. Okay, keep going. And sin, where is the promise of the coming? That's what they always say, well, the Lord ain't never coming back. They're like, y'all been waiting 2,000 years. The Lord ain't still came. Keep going. For since the fathers fell asleep, all the things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. For this very willing are ignorant of that by the word of God the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. Okay, okay. Whereby, uh, whereby. Oh, take your time. No, keep going. Just take your time. Whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. Oh yeah, so people want to say God is all love. Well, God is all love. Why do you flood the earth and kill everybody? Except for Noah and his family. Explain that. So the, so the Lord is a, a mass killer. Okay? <laughs> a whole, he, he committed mass homicide. <laughs> Keep going. Man of war. Yeah, he's a man of war. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word I kept the story, it's reserved into fire against the day of judgment. So they said the, the earth it was reserved under fire for the day of judgment. The, the day of judgment's coming soon. That's what we was talking about earlier. The, America's gonna be destroyed by that fire. And that's what you call hell. Okay, that, that's hell is that destruction by fire. That's hell. But when you die, you, you don't go to hell. Everybody goes back to the Father, okay? No matter how wicked or evil. Your spirit returns to the Father. But the real hell is this destruction right here, this fire. Keep going. The prediction of ungodly men. Keep going. And, uh, but, but, but love, be not ignorant of this one thing. Be that, not ignorant of this one thing. Keep going. That one day is with the Lord as a thousand years. Right, so people say, uh, the Lord taken for, he, the Lord ain't never came back. It's been 2,000 years, he ain't coming back. Well, this says a day the Lord is only a thousand years. 
So it's only been two days in the eyes of the Most High. He's still furious. Yeah. Well, he's pissed off. Keep going. In a thousand years, as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. His promise is to destroy America. And to, and to deliver his elect. Some men count slackness. Really, his promise is a promise he made to Abraham. We're going to rule the earth in righteousness. There ain't going to be no more of this shit out here. There ain't going to be no more adultery. There ain't going to be no uh, adulterous women running their mouth, faggots and transvestites running around. There ain't going to be no more damn Muslims walking around. Yeah, ain't gonna be no more heathens running around, running shit. Keep going. But his long su suffering to us were not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Uh, so the day, the, the Lord gonna come like a thief in the night when you least expect it. All right? Just like that Ebola virus is gonna get you when you least expect it. <laughs> talking about I'm going to a party Friday and your ass start bleeding out your eyes and you got some Ebola. Hey, how they going to say they didn't know that? Right. right. We've been out here long enough telling them along with other brothers all the time. Yeah, we done prophesied all kind of stuff. And half of it done came true. More than half. They watching it come true. Yeah. They can be in denial all the fuck they want until they dick start bleeding. Bleeding their insides out. That yeah, bowl ain't no fucking joke. That uh, bowl ain't no joke. Mm -hmm. Hey, when they catch you, they're gonna be praying to the Lord now. Even these Satan's gonna be praying to the Lord. That's what did he say? I won't hear him. It's funny too how the Ebola's breaking out. Uh, did you see how that somebody just altered the Georgia Guidestones? Because the Georgia Guidestones says that the, the elite of the world want to keep uh, the population of the earth under 500 million. So you even got the African governments was in the Liberia. They was accusing the United States of biological warfare. That's the government over there saying that. That's not the people, the villagers. Well, they saying it too. Everybody know this government. This They know now. Hell, even Alex Jones has been talking about that for years. Since ever since. Motherfucker first came on the radio. He's been telling y'all yo, yo motherfuckers they got biological weapons for your ass. Because they want to reduce their Earth's population. That's what the homosexual agenda, that's all part of uh, the depopulation agenda. Okay? It's the same with abortion. That's why they're making it trendy and popular for women to get abortions. Now, most women walking around by the time they're 20 years old, they had like five abortions. That's part of that depopulation agenda. Okay? Well, really, if a woman can have an abortion, her and that doctor both should be put to death for murder. That's an act of murder. All right, uh, read that. Uh, keep going. That which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. All right, see, so the elements shall melt with fervent heat. That's talking about the earth. The earth is going to be melted. All these buildings, all this is going to be melted. All these cars, they're going to be melted. Okay? Ain't going to be nothing left. Everything you fucking oh, on the elements. Right, everything you see out here. You got a period, periodic table of elements. <laughs> Where you going under the heat also in the works that they're in shall be burned up. So what what kind of heat? What what generates that kind of heat that can melt the earth? That's a thermonuclear missile. That's what's coming. We got a third world war coming. And it's gonna be a thermonuclear war. Okay, it's not gonna be fought with conventional weapons. It's gonna be fought with thermonuclear weapons. Here you go. Isaiah 40, 54, and 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the waster to destroy. The waster, like, so the Lord put in the, the spirit of the Russians to make all these marvelous nuclear missiles. And if y'all haven't been paying attention, Russia been testing nukes. They've been testing ICBMs damn near every day, every week. 
They testing a different missile. Cause they getting ready to shoot those missiles. See China coming out now with their mobile ICBM missiles. Oh yeah? Yeah, what came out today? They probably getting help from Russia. Yeah. The Russia got the best missiles on the planet. And they all aimed at America. Every last one of them. Believe that. Right, American battleships, warships, aircraft carriers. Yep. Aimed at their own. Their own. Their, uh, embassies. Yep. Uh, Russia going to well, the Most High going to do a thorough job. <laughs> you know? The Most High put it in the Russians' heart and their spirit right. Right. to build all them missiles. Here you go, bro. Um, Just like he read now Isaiah. It said the Lord is the one that created that uh, scientist to make those missiles. The Lord is responsible. The Lord is responsible for all this. All the war you see, that's the Lord who created that war. Because really, it was the Lord who created the scientists that made that Ebola up in the laboratory and made those biological weapons. The Lord put it in his spirit to do that. Uh, go ahead. That's right. This is Revelation 6 and 4. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. Yeah, Esau was... Uh, uh, blessed with the sword. His father Isaac blessed him with the sword and he will rule the earth by the sword. So that sword consisted of missiles, biological weapons. I mean, anything you can think of that causes death. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't see Jake building no missiles. Yeah. They too goddamn stupid. Jake came to build a slingshot. Yeah, he can. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A slingshot. Which is a basic, simple, that's an ancient weapon, too. You might want to go back there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, David had the old school slingshot. Mm -hmm. yeah, the one you let go part of it. They still use those, you know what I mean? They sure do, over there. Over there in the Middle East? Yeah. They ain't got no money to buy a gun. And they accurate, too. Yeah, they? fuck you up with a slingshot. Hit your ass in the head, you'll drop dead. You see a lot of them Palestinians when they fight against the, uh, the Israelis. They use a slingshot. You see some of them with slingshots. Yeah. Slings. But they put metal balls and shit in there now. Woo. <laughs> Get some, uh, you know, like a ball from a pinball game or something. A ball, oh, sure. ball bearings and shit. Like a yeah. Like a when they hit you. Oh, go ahead. You gonna wish you was dead after you got hit if you don't, if you don't die. That's some painful wire. I got a slingshot I found it. I found a slingshot on the side of the road the other day. It's designed to shoot arrows. I can, can put arrows in it. Hit your ass with an arrow. <laughs> I gotta get some arrows. Second Peter 3 and 11. See and then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of person ought you to be? So Oh, go ahead, my fault. I interrupted you. Read that again. Be all holy conversation and godliness. Yeah, so if you know that fire is coming, what kind of person are you supposed to be? You're supposed to be following the commandments of the Most High, following the commandments of the Bible, not committing adultery, not being a faggot, okay? Now, you ain't supposed to be eating no pork. You ain't supposed to be celebrating Christmas, celebrating Halloween, okay? Calling yourself a great American. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, fuck America. The guy's gonna destroy America. It's over. It's already destroyed. America done been conquered by heathens and Muslims already. <laughs> America used to be nothing but what, black and white people? Now almost everybody you see is a goddamn heathen, a Hindu, a Muslim. They had no part in building this raggedy shit. I mean, they taking everything. You know what I'm saying? But they gonna get burned up too. That's what they hear, man. Get burned up. That's right. Well, see, back in the day, they probably had a lot to do with uh, burn Israel lights up into slavery. You know? They sure did. You know? And they did it proudly too. They was eager to do it. They couldn't wait. Cause you get tired of seeing a Muslim, man. You going to the grocery store, and half the people you see are goddamn Muslims or uh, Hindus or fucking Somalians. Now who the fuck lets millions of Somalians into their country? Right, 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 right. What the fuck is that all about? Uh, they, they the foulest people on the planet. Uh, what you got? Yeah. Oh, there's more today. Go ahead. 
looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God. So the, the day of the Lord is coming very soon. If you ain't right with the Most High, you will get burned up. Keep going. We're in the heavens being on fire. So the heavens are going to be on fire. The heavens, that's talking about the sky. So the sky is going to be on fire. So how, how does the sky get lit on fire? That's by those missiles. Keep going. Shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with very heat. Keep going. Perfect. Nevertheless, we according to this promise look for a new heavens and a new earth. Uh, there's going to be a new heavens and a new earth. That's talking about the kingdom of heaven. See, see, the kingdom of heaven, some people think that when you die, you go to heaven. But when you die, you go to the Father. But the kingdom of heaven is talking about a righteous kingdom on earth that's going to be established. Just like it said right there, there's going to be a new heaven and a new earth. Uh, keep going. We're in well of righteousness. We're for it, beloved. Seeing that you look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blemish. Yeah, it's blemish. supposed to be out without spot, without blemish. I mean, you don't let the court, the Lord catch you, catch you slipping. Like, like I said, he's going to return like a thief in the night. So you better keep your garments, be teaching the word, doing what you're supposed to be doing, not being a goddamn demon. Uh, keep on. Relapsing, being a fucking faggot. Relapsing? <laughs> <laughs> That's all that motherfucking Mayor's nasty Nate got around him is a bunch of faggots. Dealing with their hands is a bunch of faggots. They claim they ain't faggots no more, but motherfuckers still faggots, man. Yeah, the Lord don't, yeah, he ain't with that faggot shit. Hell no, with that shit. Lord coming, you just now got your rod up and some shit. Come on, some nasty shit. Oh, yeah, we are in the Go ahead, uh, read more of that. An account at the long, the long suffering of our Lord and salvation. Even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, have written unto you, as also in all his apostles, speaking in them of, of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood. Uh, that's the point on that. But uh, yeah, because this truth is all about long suffering. That's another good point too. Is people always say, "What's the promise of his coming?" They try to say it's been two thousand years. Tells you that you're gonna suffer for a long time. That's what long suffering means. You, you, we're gonna suffer. Life is about suffering. The Lord said, "Pick up your cross." He said, "If you're gonna be my disciple, you gotta pick up your cross." What does it mean to pick up a cross? A cross is a burden. Okay. So you're supposed to pick up your cross and follow the Lord. Doing this work, this is part of picking that cross up. Having your family turn against you. Having everybody, having your woman leave you. It's all good though. Mm, here you go. Second Andrew is 13 and 49. Now when he destroyed the multitude of the nation that were gathered together, he shall defend his people that remain. All right. So the Lord going to destroy all these heathen nations. And he's and, and he going to establish Israel in the kingdom. Just like that scripture, that Romans 11, it said, uh, uh, out of Zion come to deliver to take away ungodliness from Jacob. <laughs> so eventually all of Israel is going to be saved. First of all, y'all got to die first, though. You're going to come back in a reincarnation in your right state of mind. Okay, uh, this is a uh, wisdom of Solomon five and nineteen. He shall take holiness for an invisible shield, and um. severe wrath shall be sharpened for a sword, and the world shall fight with him against the unwise. Then shall the right aiming thunderbolts go abroad. That's a thunderbolts. And from the clouds, as from a well-drawn bow, they shall fly to their mark. 
and hailstones full of wrath shall be cast as out of a stone bow. And the waters, that's the spirit how you just talk about. Yeah. It. And the waters of the sea shall rage against them, and the floods shall cruelly drown them. Yea, a mighty wind shall stand up against them, and like a storm shall blow them away. Yeah, that, that thermonuclear storm are gonna blow you away. That fiery tempest. What scripture is that that calls it a fiery tempest? <laughs> I, I think that's a song. Somebody get that. Yeah, get it. Psalms 11 and 6, yo. Yeah. Um, and like a storm shall blow them away, thus iniquity shall lay waste the whole earth, and ill dealing shall overthrow the thrones of the mighty. Ill dealing. Mm. <laughs> There's a day of evil's coming. It's like the book of Amos say, the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Okay, it's gonna be very, do y'all know the day of the Lord is darkness and not light? It's gonna be very dark and gloomy. Very dark. So the day of the Lord is not a happy day. It's a bad day for you devils. <laughs> These people are gone. The walking dead. They want your boy from The Walking Dead. What's his name? Uh, Daryl. <laughs> oh, that Daryl. I'm talking about his head. You know, it's too thing hard to see the shoes when the fuck you want to come out. When you feel like coming out. You don't shit the devil. Like he said, there'll be no spots of limits for the Lord to hear. I don't be hanging out with no fucking bitch, man. You think? Because we used to have a giant camp. There used to be all kind of people out here with us. Mm -hmm. yep. See, the Lord ain't dealing with numbers, though. It ain't a number game. Right. We can't have no great numbers anymore. Yeah. So we don't give a damn. We, and this ain't about trying to get as many people as you can, getting everybody together. But if you got this fucking, if you got this truth, use it. Yeah. You know? You better get the fuck out and teach. Not like I said, not like when you feel like it. Either use it or lose it. <laughs> yep, yep. Isn't that an old saying? Use it or lose it. Cause yeah. those that got this truth and you know ain't doing their thing when the time comes, they gonna get get a, get a worse ass whooping than a, than a wicked motherfucker. Right? Yep. Like them two guys. <laughs> them two guys, yeah, yeah. That's two guys we know. Yeah, them two guys we know. <laughs> Here you go. They probably watching our videos. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know where we're at. You know, we ain't hiding. We ain't left. It ain't never been a mystery where we are. Huh? Nah. You know, you know, there's still time. It's we still come out the same time every day, every every week, man. We still here. That means you still got time to get right. That's right. That's right. It ain't never too late. That's the key right there. We still here. Well, it is too late. So when that fire, when the fire starts coming out the sky, that's a, this is a little late. <laughs> no, that's not. By that time, you, it's over for you. <laughs> <laughs> See you when you get nutted out in the kingdom. Oh, yeah. When I, when I shoot you out in the kingdom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real. Joel 2 and 1. Oh, that's my favorite book. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Right. Let oh, yeah, because like Zion and Jerusalem, that that's, that's a people before it's a place. This right here is Zion right here. That's right. Uh, go ahead. Uh, and it sound an alarm in my whole mouth. Oh, yeah, because we're Zionists. Like those devils over there in Israel, the fake Jews over there in Israel, everybody call them Zionists. They're not Zionists. They're the synagogue of Satan. We're Zionists. You know what I'm saying? And that represents righteousness. Ain't nothing righteous about them faggots. Uh, keep going. Damn thing. It's getting dark and gloomy out here, ain't it? Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. Yeah, we've been saying that for a minute. You know what I mean? The day of the Lord's at hand. Y'all gonna shit yourselves on that day. You're gonna literally shit yourselves. 
you got too yep. excited. You're gonna have dookie dripping down your leg. You're gonna be so scared. You're pissing your pants and shitting yourself. There ain't gonna be no grocery stores open. Get some more paper. Oh, no. <laughs> ain't gonna be no, uh, no, no, no soap to wash your stinking ass with uh, either. Well, grinding will cease. Oh, they ain't gonna have no antibiotics for the disease. Yeah, that's right, that's right. And they're gonna be burdened. The free clinic gonna be shut down. And they gonna be no clinic. Y'all, all you hoes are in trouble. Yeah, let me go to that cliche real quick. Let's get back to that. Ain't gonna be no clinic. <laughs> you see that clinic stay busy. There be a long line in the clinic every day. They make all kind of money in that for all of the STDs. Big money, man. That's a big money industry. While the sun, just did, please did ask you take a break on the camera. Too. While the sun, or the light, or the moon, or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinding cease because they are few, and yeah. those... <laughs> yeah, the grinding's gonna cease, all this cars, all this noise, people going back and forth to work. Working their finger to the bone, it's gonna cease. When they grind. Yeah, they on they grind. They say that too. Yep, I'm yep. on my grind. Yep. About that paper, baby. That's right. Fuck and, your paper. And the grinders cease because they are few. And those that look out of the windows be darkened. And the doors shall be shut in the streets. When the sound Oh yeah, well, this thing when that Ebola virus break out. Woo! This already came to America. I don't, there ain't no turning back no Ebola. Cause that Ebola, that's just alive. That's like a spirit too. Cause you know, that's an actual little creature. It's here, yeah. What are they, pathogens they call? The they little, saw pictures of them. Yeah. You know? It's like a microscopic little demon creature. Yeah. And the way they stay alive is by spreading themselves and reproducing. <laughs> by infecting other people. That's how they uh, regenerate and stay alive. Hell, even these goddamn germs doing their nature. Yeah. And Esau is just nature. They don't want to reproduce. A fucking germ wants to reproduce. Yep. <laughs> Shit. Well, it's, a, it's a spirit. Yep. Germs have spirits. Pathogens have spirit. That's an actual spirit. You know what I mean? Yeah, everything got a spirit in it. Like you said, you can look at it at a microscope and you can see it moving around like a snake. You know what I mean? Doing its thing. Eating, living, breathing. <laughs> Wants to live. No creature wants to die. The Ebola don't want to die. It's the, the whole sole purpose of the, the Ebola is to spread so it, the Ebola can live. It wants to live. It wants to live. <laughs> and for an Ebola to live, you must die. Hell no. <laughs> but that's just how the diseases work, though. That's right. Like the flu. That's right. There's the actual little spirits up in there. And the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Oh yeah, there ain't gonna be no yeah. more yet rap bullshit playing yeah. on that day. Y'all know uh, the Lord is about to destroy America with fire. So yeah, kiss your ass goodbye. Cause it's over for it's a wrap. It's fucking over. It's done. Goddamn devils, this over. <laughs> Joel 2 and 3 2. A day of darkness. And a gloomy A day of clouds and thick darkness. As the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong. There have not been ever the like. Neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. A fire, a fire devoureth before them. And behind them, a flame burning. You see that? So this is, this is talking about the, the nuclear war that's coming. Keep going. Um, the land is as the garden of Eden before them, and so, behind them. So, they, so yeah, but, but, and the kingdom is going to be like the garden of Eden, paradise, right? But keep going. Um, before them and behind them, a desolate wilderness. So America is going to be turned into a desolate wilderness when that destruction. It ain't just going to be America either. They're going to be destruction all over the earth. Wherever they're pointing. Yeah. But the New World Order is global. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord's going to destroy it, wherever it is. Keep going. Yay! And nothing shall escape them. Yeah, ain't nothing going to escape those missiles. 
Keep going. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses. Yeah, the appearance of the missiles. This is the appearance of horses. Keep going. And as horsemen, so shall they run. So like when that missile come down, when that missile come down, when it drops and goes boom, that fire runs out and it looks like horses running. Okay? And it's like they racing. Like fiery horses running. Woo! Keep going. That's crazy. Um the appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, and as horsemen so shall they run, like the noise of chariots on the top of mountains shall they leap. Yeah, so yeah, because it's gonna be a very loud destruction. And, and that, that fire leaps. Keep going. Um like the noise of the flame of fire that devours the stubble. You know, it says devour the stubble. I believe it. You look that word devour up in the Hebrew, usually, especially, right, it says a call, which means to eat. Wow. So that fire is going to eat everything that it, it uh, touches. Anything, it, the fire is going to eat it. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Keep going. There's a strong people set in battle array before the face the people shall be much pain. Yeah, it's a lot of pain getting uh, disintegrated by missiles. <laughs> All faces shall gather blackness. <laughs> they shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war. Right, they're just talking about that fire. They're climbing the wall like men of war. Keep going. And they shall march every one in his ways, and they shall not break their ranks. So there's no stopping a single one of those missiles. Each one of those missiles is going to hit its target. Keep going. Neither shall one thrust another. They shall walk every one in its path. Yeah, because you see the missiles coming out of the sky. You ever see like the uh, uh, a shield wall of the troops like the Roman army or the, Spart the Spartans? They all in formation. That's how many missiles they're going to be in the sky. It's going to look like they're coming down in fucking Ooh. formation. It's like going to be like a phalanx of missiles mm. coming out the sky. Mm. Mm. And when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. They shall run to and fro in the city. They shall run upon the wall. Yeah, so it's not talking about actual people. And when you read this in Hebrew, that's why you got to learn Hebrew. Yeah, this scripture will make a lot of sense when you read the Hebrew. Because it's telling you, real people don't run on walls. That's talking about a fire. When a fire comes through and hits it just goes up through the window. It goes through everything. There's no stopping. All right, let me read something to back that up about you saying. Uh, you, I mean, you mentioned going into other tongues. Oh, yeah. Which, it, you refer, the reference is Hebrew. Because like I said, like the word devour, well, even when you eat food, sometimes you'll say, damn, you, you ate that food so fast you devoured it. Mm. Like the word in Hebrew for devour is eat. The fire eats. The fire is going to eat all these buildings. Mm. <laughs> Okay. This is a please you ask. Oh, you ever seen the old uh, the old cartoon? I, it was a, maybe it was a Yogi Bear cartoon or maybe it was a I can't remember what it was, but there's a little fire bug that he kept taking sticks and eating a stick. Yeah, I remember and, that. and it, he just spread and spread and he kept eating stuff. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> this is a prologue in Ecclesiastes. The prologue of the wisdom of Yahshua, the son of Surah. Um wherefore let me entreat you to read it with favor and attention and to pardon us when we may seem to come short of some words which we have labored to interpret for the same things uttered in Hebrew and translated into another tongue have not the same force yeah. in them. So yeah, because the English Bible, you know the King James is a pretty good Bible, right? But you got to go into Hebrew to get a better understanding. You get a better picture in your mind. That takes a lot of study. So the truth ain't for nobody that's lazy minded. Okay. If you're lazy, if you don't like to study, the truth is not for you. The Bible says study to show thyself approved. Okay. Rightfully dividing the word of truth. Keep going. And not only these things, but the law itself and the prophets and the rest of the books have no small difference when they are spoken in their own language. Right. So you got to you got to study the Hebrew. That's why when you call on the Lord's name, you don't call on Jesus. 
got calling his Hebrew name Yahweh Shai. Because the Bible says with that in Romans 10, whosoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. <laughs> I, guess, I guess your boy Nathaniel and them ain't getting saved. Because <laughs> they ain't calling on the name of the Lord. Christ is not the Lord's name. Even though sometimes we might say Jesus Christ, and the Bible says Jesus Christ, but we know the New Testament we got now was from the Greek New Testament. Because uh, originally, Hebrew scholars would tell you is that Matthew was originally written in Hebrew with the ancient Hebrew script. Most scholars agree on that. Like even early church fathers testified in, in writing that they had seen copies of uh, Matthew written in Hebrew. All right. Look it up. They, they'll tell you, even scholars, they, they'll say they got uh, a gospel called the Q document or something like that. You know, those motherfuckers even stress that um, we're not going to get, we, it's a waste of time to even speak Hebrew because we're not going to really get into the, the kingdom. The hell which is, is, is kind of true, but whoa. no motherfuckers just trip us in to study in another, the Hebrew language. Well, yeah, because when you learn Hebrew, that proves the Bible, Bible to be true. Like when you see uh, artifacts, like, have y'all ever heard of this? Something called a Tel Dan inscription. Now, if you can't read Hebrew, you're shit out of luck because uh, the Tel Dan inscription is an artifact found by archaeologists that proved that King David actually lived. But you wouldn't know that if you didn't read Hebrew. You bunch of dumb sons of bitches. <laughs> so to say you can't study the Hebrew, then you're a, you're a degenerate. You know why they say that? Because they don't know any Hebrew. And they're ashamed and they're retarded. You know what I mean? Lazy motherfucker. That's lazy, they man. They ain't no time to be studying uh, when they ain't worldly. Yeah, that's worldly shit, yeah. Well, they're all cops and shit anyway. Right, right. Ain't nobody worried about y'all, man. Y'all nobodies. Right, right. Um, they shall run to and fro in the city. They shall run upon the walls. They shall climb up upon the houses. They shall enter in at the windows like a thief. The earth shall quake before them. Yeah, so how does the earth quake? And this is talking about earth quaking from fire. It clearly said it was fire. It said the fire is going to eat everything in its path. Mm. So the only thing that can make the earth quake like that is those thermonuclear missiles. That's it. And the Lord, oh wait, the earth shall quake before them. The heavens shall tremble. So how, how, does, the, how does the sky tremble? That's from that fire once again. Yeah, like, yeah, you, you see, can see fire cause waves in the air. You ever see how you see fire and make the air look all wavy and shit? The sonic see, boom. Oh, yeah, sonic. Oh, yeah, that caused a sonic boom too. Yeah, it make because those missiles go at uh, high speeds. The it, sun and the moon shall be dark. And the stars shall withdraw their shining. Right, it'll be so much smoke in the sky from those missiles. You ain't gonna be able to see the stars and the moon. You're not gonna know the difference between north, south, east, and west. Okay. <laughs> right, right. Well, actually, if you're standing on the ground, you're dead. <laughs> Obviously. And that's where the lake of fire is. When you read about the lake of fire in Revelation, when, right before the Lord bring that destruction, that's when he's going to start delivering the elect. And he's gonna come out of the sky in the chariots, AKA the UFOs. Yeah, I said UFOs, spaceships. They're, they're not, there's no reptilians in them. There's the Lord in them. They're